PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all get on today? Now the beautiful day here in Paralyse, my news is getting a bit cold now, so I might have to go and put my winter woolies on soon guys. Hey, what I'm going on about today is these things, standoff guides. Do you really need one? What the hell are they? And a lot of people were getting really confused about what they use for. And a lot of people were trying to put them on torches that they don't really need to be on. And I'll give you an example of a couple of torches that look identical, but are totally different. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? Standoff guides, how boring, yeah! So guys, here we have two bloody identical AG60 torches. That's just a standard, like, standard generic torch that you get with most Chinese plasma cutters. But what I've noticed these days, guys, is even the Chinese uh, version of these are, are all putting their own torches on. So just watch if you're going to buy a plasma cutter that you can get a generic torch that you can plug one in for the other. So that's my uh, hobby horse. Make sure that you're not playing over the top for your torches and that sort of thing if you're new to plasma cutting. Anyway, enough of that. So we've got the standoff guide. So this torch here needs a standoff guide and this torch here won't work with a standoff guide but they look identical. And you're going to say, well, what are you talking a load of shit, Pete? But anyway, let me show you. I'll plug both machines in and I'll show you the difference. First of all, we'll do the one that doesn't need a standoff guide, which is this one here, guys. So let's go and plug them in. So guys, this is the torch leads, the one that doesn't need the standoff guide, just the standard torch plugs. You've got your standard plug here, and then you've got your power lead and your air lead here. Now this torch here, guys, is a drag tip torch. So if you remember guys, if you're using a drag tip torch, a drag tip torch is a non-pilot arc torch and you don't need a standoff guide. Here, I'll show you. Right guys, this is the torch here that doesn't need the standoff guide but it's got one on there. Now you're saying, well why the hell has it got one on there if you don't need it? Because they use these consumables like these ceramics here for a lot of different torches. So this is available in pilot arc and non-pilot arc torch. So it just depends what sort of machine you got whether you need the standoff guide or not. I'll show you how this doesn't work because this is not a pilot arc torch. You go like that. Put it on your steel, pull the trigger. What happens? Absolutely nothing. And you say to yourself, well, why doesn't that work? What that is doing, and the name tells you that, is it's holding the tip off the work. So it's a standoff guide. Like, that's your standoff, and it's a guide to hold your torch just a fraction off your work so it doesn't touch. Because some consumables, if you touch them on the metal that you're cutting, they blow out completely almost straight away. Whereas this torch is not designed to do that. So all I do to make this torch work is take this guide off. It's quite tight, highly sprung on there. And this is just a generic torch for a lot of the Chinese plasma cutters use, guys. So now we'll try the same thing again. Perfect mundo. Now if I put that back on guys, and I'll show you, I'll do a close up and you can see it when I pull the trigger, you'll be able to see it sparking, but it just can't get enough to get it going because the consumable tip here is not touching your work because this torch here is a non-pilot arc torch and it's running on a non-pilot arc machine. So in other words, it needs to touch on the steel, otherwise it won't work. Right, so hopefully you can see this guys. I'll pull the trigger and you see if you can see a spark trying to jump between one and the other. Did you see the spark guys? But it just can't get going because it's not touching the steel. Now I'll do the same thing again, I'll take this off. Right there guys, I've taken it off. Now look what happens. Pull the trigger feet. See what I mean guys? So this torch here does not need a standoff guide on it, even though it's got a place to put one. But it won't work for the simple reason that I just told you. So guys, this is a non-pilot arc torch and you don't need to use a standoff guide. Now I'll show you exactly the same torch, but a pilot arc version of it that you need the standoff guide for it to make it to work. So guys, here we have the fittings on that other identical torch I showed you. The only difference is this has got this extra wire for pilot arc. 
when you see the extra wire like this, it might be blue, it might be red, it doesn't matter really what color it is. But if it's an extra wire like this, then you know that you've got a pilot arc torch and you must have a pilot arc machine. And once you're running pilot arc, you need to use a standoff guide most of the time. So here we go, we'll just plug them in the same as we do with the other one. Put them in there. And the pilot arc wire normally goes in here with another plug, but I just put mine up here. That's a whole different story. If you want to know anything about that, check in the description below. I'll put some links to how to do that. So now we've set up the pilot arc torch. Let's go and see the difference. So guys, we've got our pilot arc torch plugged in. Now with the pilot arc, you'll notice this, guys. Pull the trigger, the flame comes out. We don't have to touch the steel. And because we don't have to touch the steel, what we normally want to do is hold the tip off the steel so it doesn't burn through the tip straight away. These tips are not so bad because as I showed you, these guns are designed for pilot arc and non-pilot arc, so it doesn't really matter if you touch this tip on the steel. But you'll find with some plasma cutters that you can't touch the tip on the steel because it almost instantly burns them out. So that's basically again what the standoff guide's for. So we've got the standoff guide on, and you notice when I did it before, when I tried to start it, it wouldn't start because we weren't touching the steel. Well, we're not touching the steel again now, but because we're using pilot arc, watch what happens, guys. Just like that, guys. But we're using a pilot arc torch now, but it's exactly the same torch as what it was before, but now we need the standoff guide on it, guys. Now, so that's about as clear as mud, Pete. <laughs> when I showed you before, guys, we were using this torch on a non-pilot arc machine, and remember, it wouldn't start. It just sort of sparked when I dragged it down and started it. But you watch this close up. See that, guys? It just starts instantly because we're still holding it off the metal, but we're using the guard, we're using the spacer, and we're using pilot arc. So there you go. yee So that's about all the useless information for this week, guys. Same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. We can have a bit of a chat. And remember the golden rule that I've found out, guys. If you're using a drag plasma cutter torch or a, a non-pilot arc plasma cutter, you don't need a standoff guide. If you're using a pilot arc, chances are you need a standoff guide, guys. So that's everything you didn't want to know about bloody standoff guides. Anyway, see you later, guys. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.com.com.